You're super busy with family and work, but to get the job that you actually want, you need a college degree. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can graduate college in just 10 hours of homework a week. My first example is gonna be a UVA degree in biomedical engineering. Now this is the way they create their degree completion plan. You can see these are the classes you have to do your first year, then your second year, then your third year, and your fourth year. Theoretically, the average college student is supposed to spend about 45 hours on school a week, about 15 in class and 30 doing homework. Over the course of four years, that adds up to about 5,800 hours. But this isn't really the plan for you because at 10 hours of homework a week, you would graduate in about 11 years. But can I be honest with you? We need to be a little bit more realistic. The average college student only spends about 12 hours a week on homework. And if you count them skipping a couple classes, it probably means they're doing about 25 hours worth of schoolwork per week. So if you did college exactly like they do it, you would graduate in about six years, which for how busy you are and this being a very traditional plan, six years is not that bad. But you still want that degree sooner. So let's say that you do college online, like with this Bachelor's of Science in Accounting from Liberty University, as you can see, this degree requires 120 credit hours, which on average will be like 40 classes. Now, online classes typically are quicker because they're streamlined, they let you work at your own pace, a lot of times they don't have super long lectures, and you don't have to show up for anything. So if you were gonna do this LUO degree, I would estimate probably about 50 hours worth of work per class, times 40 classes. That's gonna have you graduating in about four years if you're doing 10 hours of homework a week. Just a quick disclaimer, I've tried to be very conservative with the amount of time I've estimated work will take people, but for you, it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. But guys, you can graduate even quicker than that because let's say you pick a bachelor's degree that you already know something about. So maybe you know something about accounting. At a lot of these transfer-friendly online schools, they will let you earn credit for life experience and things that you've done. So, you know, if you already knew something about financial accounting, managerial accounting, and uh, taxation, you could theoretically go to the school and say, hey, I already know those things. They'd ask you to prove it. You'd pay a little bit of money to get it certified. And then you would start seeing classes disappear off of this DCP. So let's estimate that maybe you got five classes removed in this way because you picked a major you were already somewhat familiar with based on your work. All of a sudden, four years turns into three and a half years. And if you've been watching this channel, you know all about alternative credit options like CLEP, DSST, SOFIA, Straighterline. Basically, these are American Council on Education accredited ways of earning college credit outside the classroom. So like with SOFIA, Liberty University accepts a lot of specific SOFIA courses as Liberty University courses. You pass the SOFIA course, you take the SOFIA test, and boom, you have college credit. And for a lot of online schools, the bare minimum number of credits you have to take in class at that school is 30 credit hours, which means you can use a lot of SOFIA, CLEP, DSST, and Straighterline to earn other credits. So let's add 75 alternative credits to the 15 work experience credits you already have. And then I'm gonna estimate a little bit high, but I think it's gonna take you about 30 hours worth of work on average to pass these exams. And let's say that you're probably averaging about four credits per exam. Now you're looking at graduating in two and a half years. But wait, there's more. Basically there are these really cool colleges out there that reject the idea that you have to spend X amount of hours in a classroom to prove that you know something. In fact, why don't you just prove that you know it. So they'll provide a lot of homework, a lot of it that's optional that you can go through. And then instead you really focus on completing the final assignment. And if you get a good enough grade in it, boom, you've got the college credit. So let's say you go to University of Maine at Presque Isle, you go for their bachelor's of liberal studies and management, and you already probably know something about management. That's why you picked this degree. And so even though you still have to do 30 credits at Presque Isle, you already got a leg up on those credits. And so you finish them even faster and now you're graduating in two years. And now for the piece de resistance. Remember how I said that most colleges require you to take at least 30 credit hours with them? Well, there are two colleges, Excelsior College and Thomas Edison State University, that do not have that requirement. And here's the Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts from Excelsior College. With them, you still have to take seven credit hours. So let's say you do 98 credit hours of alternative credit, and then you do 15 credit hours of work experience. All of a sudden, you're knocking this out so quickly. I'm estimating 820 hours worth of work, which at 10 hours of work a week, 
gets you graduated in just over a year and a half. The best part? All of these degrees are completely regionally accredited, trustworthy, they'll get you the job, they'll get you into grad school, and a large reason that degrees can be earned so quickly is because higher education has moved away from a liberal arts model and more towards a pre-professional model. Which is to say that college is more about proving that you can do the job. And if you've got the life experience, you can pass the SOFIAs, you can pass the CLEPS, you can pass the competency courses, you can take the online college courses, and all of that adds up to you proving you can do the job. That's what college these days is all about. And if you play your cards right, you can get that degree pretty quickly, only working about 10 hours a week. And what is the bigger point of all of this? You don't have to quit your job, you don't have to neglect your family, and you can still get that college degree. You just have to do it the right way. Guys, if you'd like to have me help you pick a college or put together a degree plan so you can graduate quickly and inexpensively and build that career that you've been eyeing for a while, then you can go to the description down below and set up a consultation with me and I would be happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.